Election day was almost a week ago, but several races have yet to be called. Political editor John Delano takes a look at what is still up in the air. Because Pennsylvania did not allow an early count of mail-in ballots and a large number of provisional ballots were cast on election day, it's no surprise that some really close legislative races are still undecided. We always thought this was going to be a very close race. There was no secret in that. Republican Nicole Ziccarelli, a New Kensington attorney, is in a nail biter with Democratic State Senator Jim Brewster of McKeesport leading the incumbent by about 400 votes. We want to make sure that every legal vote is counted. If there was ever a question before about how much your vote matters, you can see it in this race. As many as two to 3,000 votes remain uncounted in the 45th senatorial that stretches from the Mon Valley through Monroeville into the Alikiski Valley. Some are redo ballots in Allegheny County, and others are the same day provisional votes in both Allegheny and Westmoreland counties. And we're excited to and, and patiently waiting the final outcome. In another close race, Republican Oakmont Councilwoman Carrie Del Rosso holds an 800 vote lead over State Representative Frank Dermody, the leader of the Democratic Party in the State House. It's not clear that enough votes are uncounted to change the lead, but Del Rosso's campaign says it is waiting for a final tally. Statewide, Attorney General Josh Shapiro has won re-election and Republican Tim DeFore is the new Auditor General. But incumbent Treasurer Joe Torcella was losing by just 1% to Republican Stacey Garrity. With perhaps 200,000 ballots unprocessed, Torcella says he's waiting for all the votes to be counted. John Delano, KDKA News.